Hey everybody, it's the Pearson Cusack Real Estate Group. I'm Jamie P. I'm Sean C. And this is the month of five for August. So Sean, <laughs> Beeman Park, what's the numbers? All right, Beeman Park, there was one new listing and that is the only listing and it's still active in Beeman Park. The month of August. Still an opportunity. Still an opportunity. The property is located at 12810 Hortense Street. It's listed for a million four hundred ninety-nine thousand and nine hundred dollars. The house is sixteen hundred and forty-seven square feet. There's a four-bed, two-bath home, and it's listed for nine hundred and eleven dollars a square foot. So if you've been driving around the neighborhood, that's the house that's had the Andy Gump outside for a while, and they've been kind of redoing their front, I guess they've changed their mind and looking yeah. just to, to make Get that sale. Yeah. yeah. So there was one pending sale at 12834 Landale Street. Um, it was listed at $2.35 million or $830 a square foot. Uh, the house was a five bedroom, three bath, 2764 square foot home on a, on a larger lot, 11,634 square feet. Um, it went into escrow after 52 days on market and two price reductions. We'll update you on the final, final sales price when it closes. Uh, we saw three closed sales in August, which is good for Beeman Park. You guys never <laughs> Way to go, had... Beeman Park. <laughs> awesome. Um, first one was 12744 Landale Street. This is a three bed, two bath, 1529 square foot home on an 11,643 square foot lot. Um, that is that was um, sold for one million two hundred seventy-four thousand and nine hundred fifty dollars, equating to eight hundred and thirty-three dollars a square foot. The next property that sold was one two five five two Sarah Street. This is a three-bed, two-bath, sixteen hundred thirty-three square foot home on a 7,200 square foot lot. It sold for $1.6 million at $979 a square foot. Great price per square foot. Yep. The last sale was at 12734 Sarah Street. This is a two bed, two bath, 1,389 square foot house on a seven, just under 7,100 square foot lot, selling for $1.61, $1,610,000, which is $1,159 a square foot. That's an outstanding price per square foot when you consider this was a trust sale. Yep. That house needed a lot of work. Yep. Um, no garage because they kind of converted it, so yep. a little, you know, uh, port of share out in front. Um, great price for the for Beeman. Amazing price, yeah. So congrats to Beeman Park. Um, the average sales price for August was one million four hundred and ninety six thousand dollars, and the average price per square foot for the month was nine hundred ninety dollars, um, which is about even with July's clothing. So, so still strong. Still strong. Great. So Jamie, how does that compare to Studio City? Well, I thought you'd never ask. So let's get into the numbers for Studio City. There were 25 brand new listings in August. That was down about 50% from July. We had a lot of listings in July. There were a total of, there are a total of 63 homes currently on the market. 19 homes went pending um, in August and we saw nine closes, which um, seems light to me. Yeah. The average sales price in Studio City was $2,660,000 um, and the average price per square foot was $970 a square foot. That's up 5%. So we're still seeing those increases. The average day is on market was 16, so still very quick, and um, which is about even from last month. So we're still doing, we're doing good. We're pivoting, but we're doing good. So this month's featured business is the shops at the Sportsman's Lodge. So the shops at Sportsman's Lodge have been open about a year now. They're still filling up some of the uh, vacant spaces as they grow. They have both retail space and retail shops like Allbird, Free People Movement, Fred Siegel is there. Dining options. This is this Now is this is great. where they get me. Dining <laughs> options. Uh, Civil Coffee, uh, Air One Foods, Hi Ho Cheeseburgers, eaten there. Kismet Rotisserie, haven't tried that yet. Roberta's, haven't tried that, just opened this week. Gotta go get, try that Brooklyn pizza. Yep. Um, great things about it. Um, let's see, Sugarfish, Tokaya, 
Tuesday Sweet Shop, Uvo, another favorite of mine. And Van Leeuwen, Van Leeuwen, which is another New York transplant from Brooklyn. You used to have like little yellow ice cream trucks. Yeah, how can you go wrong with ice cream? Uh, sushi and ice cream is the favorite of Studio City <laughs> and cheeseburgers. Um, we're going to be out handing out our newsletter and letting you know that it's out and about. So if you see us in the community, say hi. Thanks for all your time. Thank you so much for watching. If you need to reach us, 424-229-2793. And we'll see you next month. Yeah.